How's it going everybody? Wayne here. Today I'll be adding another three games to the complete N64 library. Let's check them out. The first game up is a bowling game. Can you guess which one? Uh, not super bowling. It's Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling for the N64. Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling was published for the N64 by THQ and released for the N64 in December of 1999. To bowl, there was a power and accuracy meter to launch the ball. Pretty simple concept, but good luck getting a strike in this game. The people know you missed a strike before you do. If I played a bowling game today, it would be Wii Sports. Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling cost me $30 ship. It's not rare, but last time I was looking for this game, it gave me a little bit of trouble finding it. So at $30 ship, game number 16 brings us up to $695. Next up is a game you heard me talk about before, and that game is Cruisin' World. Another fun racing game added to the collection. This was the second game in the series on the N64, and it was released in 1996. The game, as the title suggests, is racing all around the world. It was so mind-blowing back in the day, racing all around the world, seeing all these different countries. And then, when you beat the game, you'd be picked up by this giant magnet and placed on a space shuttle to the moon. Although that was awesome, the moon was kind of disappointing. There was a lot of sharp turns and narrow roads, and it made it more annoying than fun. Oh, and let's not forget the starting music. It sounded like a 90s workout video. I actually lost a friend over this game. I have a really bad habit of laughing at people when I destroy them in a game. The more they lose and the more frustrated they get, the harder I laugh. So my buddy Ricky comes over and he's just getting upset because I'm winning first on every race. Finally after one of the races, he just snapped. As I was sitting there with tears rolling down my face in laughter, Ricky got up and kicked my N64 across the living room floor. And that was the last time Ricky ever came over. Cruising World is game number 17 in the collection, and at $20 ship, that brings us up to $715. Now, this is actually missing the manual. I bought this one for $20 ship because it was the mentest box I could find. And I definitely wanted to get a nice copy of this one. So I will have to go back later and get the manual for this. Next up, we have a snowboarding game. Big Mountain 2000, or as I like to call it, Big Mountain of Doo-Doo. Big Mountain was released for the N64 in North America in, you guessed it, 2000. Big Mountain 2000 was a skiing and snowboarding game. I'd actually never even heard of this game until I started collecting for the N64. And that's probably because the game wasn't very good. I found parts of the game to be fun, but for the most part it was annoying. Tripping over things that weren't there, losing balance for no reason, and getting knocked over by other racers. And you just gotta love the reactions from the player. No matter what situation they're in, there is only one reaction. Some of the tracks were kinda cool, but if you wanna play a snowboarding game, get a copy of 1080. Big Mountain 2000 is another one I wanted to get knocked out quickly. This game can be an absolute pain in the butt to find, complete in box. With the last set, I didn't even have the manual for the game. It was one of the manuals I was missing. This is actually the North American version of the game, but this copy was located in Europe for whatever reason, and it cost me $93 shipped. And that's not too bad. All the other copies on eBay, I say all the other copies, there's only like one, are over 100 bucks asking price right now. Big Mountain 2000 is game number 18 in the collection, and at $93 ship, that puts us up to a total of $808. The 
If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll be collecting the entire N64 collection, complete in box, right here on this show. Also, make sure to leave a thumbs up for Cruising World. Until next time, I'm Wayne, and thanks for watching.